Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we have a 20 minute Pilates workout for your full body fitness. Go ahead, take a seat, relax down onto your mat, and we'll start with some back rounding, reaching your hands behind your hamstrings, draw your navel in towards your spine, round out across your shoulders, and feel that stretch all the way through your spine. Now this is kind of like a yoga cat cow, so as you inhale, you're stacking the vertebrae, lifting the chest through the shoulders and expanding along the collarbone. Next up, you're gonna place your fists in together, rotate along the thoracic, bring your elbow down towards each corner of your mat, starting to warm up, firing along the obliques, exhaling as you bring it into the center, inhaling as you twist. Bring your feet out a little bit wider across your mat, reach the arms all the way up to the sky, and we're going to go a little bit further with our range of motion. So as you inhale, reach the arms up high. As you exhale, fold into your C curve, drawing your navel in toward your spine, rounding across the back, reaching up, lengthening through your spine and lifting your chest. Got a few more before we take it all the way down to the mat. So reach, reach, reach. Exhale and fold. Extend those arms up nice and high. Exhale and fold. Reach all the way up. Fold and engage that core. Extend all the way up and let's come all the way down to our mat here. Bring the arms overhead, feet up below, little stretch. Walking the heels in towards the hips. Let's round out across the low back. Rocking those knees out side to side. Let's move into a little core, nose towards your knees, pull your belly button back, single leg stretch with bent knee, pull one leg in, both hands to shin, other leg extends all the way out to the tail edge of your mat. So you really want to feel as you pull the leg in, that full flexion along the core, as you extend the leg out, that full extension from hip to toes. Keep the low back imprinted all the way down to the mat. And keep that core braced, rib cage to hips, belly button to spine. All right, fold both knees in. And let's reach both hands out and then pull the knees in for our double leg stretch. As you reach the arms and legs out, you're keeping the back imprinted. And the challenge is gonna be to keep that same fold even as you reach the arms and legs out away from your trunk. The lower you take the legs, the more you're going to feel that core engagement. Awesome, last one, and rest. Got a little sacral massage, circling the knees around, and then bring him around the other direction. Bring the heels behind the hips next, and we'll start into our bridge work. So press into the heels, lift those hips all the way up. Driving the weight through the heels, you should feel the hamstrings and the glutes at the top of the bridge. Now see if you can push a little bit more towards the outer blades of the feet and really light up the back of the body through the posterior chain. So your core is not only the front of the body, that beautiful rectus abdominis, but it's also those underneath layers as well as your posterior chain. So all the postural muscles working together. Good, let's go for this last one here peel and then imprint the spine tuck one knee in towards the chest and let's circle along the hip so we really feel that stretch and release one side now next extend that leg up nice and long point through the toes and then flex those toes down towards the shin relaxing through the top and the bottom of the foot all the way down through the calf and shin in through your hamstrings circling through the ankle pay attention to anywhere that feels a little bit wonky 
And then bring those circles around the other direction. Fold your nose up towards your knee and let's go into our single leg stretch with straight leg. The challenge here again is going to be to keep your shoulders up from the mat the whole time and keep that same abdominal crunch along the front of the body from rib cage to hips. Keep drawing the nose in towards the knee. Feel that stretch along the back of the thigh, point through the toes, rib cage to hips belly button to spine, so nice tight core throughout. Almost there, last one. And now let's do those stretches on the left side, toes flex and point. Feeling that stretch all along the leg, down through the top and bottom of the foot. And then circling along the ankle. Awesome, feel that release along the foot, into the toes, down through the leg. And we're going to go into our hip circles and tracing the ceiling with the knee as you rotate that hip all the way around. And then go ahead and place that foot down onto the ground. We're going to come into a butterfly pose. Reach your hands toward your heels. Lift your chest all the way up and then fold right back down. So we're going to lift up through to the middle of the back and then kind of lay your spine down vertebra by vertebra. So you feel the upper back lift and then lower, reach and relax. The whole time we're keeping that low back pressed down all the way to your mat. Good. Let's go for one more here and then we're going to reach the arms all the way out to each knee and then reach your hands toward your heels to really light up those side abdominals. Now instead of folding the rib cage towards the hips in the center, we're folding the rib cage towards the hips along the side. Look out toward your heel as you fold in that direction. Good, continue to reach and reach. Good, really starting to feel that fire up, hands to hips. Let's lift up the hips now really firing up through the glutes. So you feel this one in the medial and the maximal glute, driving up through the outer blades of your feet. This is kind of a frog pump or butterfly glute raise. Keeping the abs engaged the whole time. So pull your belly button away from your waistband, squeeze all the way up, using those glute muscles, nice and strong contraction through the backside. Good, rest all the way. Let's fold both knees over to one side and go into some side leg work. So you're gonna come down onto that bottom arm, let it cradle the head, top arm in front of the abs, top leg extends to the front and back for your kicks. Good, point through the toes as you bring the foot along to the front and then pull through the heel, bringing it towards the back edge of the mat and flexing along those glutes. So we kinda had our bridge warm up then our butterfly intensifying, and now we really get to light up the backside unilaterally. So lift that foot around to the front, feel the stretch along the hamstring, and then pull the foot towards the back, tightening up through the glutes. Now let's go for our kicks all the way up and then pulling the heel down. Now, as you lift the leg up, you wanna imagine there's a harness wrapped around your ankle. So as you pull your heel back down to your mat, you really wanna feel the tightness along the back of the upper inner thigh. Squeeze that heel down towards the ground. Good, using all those leg muscles to lift and then lower the leg. All right, let's change it up to our side kick passe. So you're gonna lift the leg all the way up and then fold the heel all the way down. So reversing the movement with each repetition. Pull the heel in, extend the leg, fold the heel down, and then lift the leg all the way up, fold the heel and press along the lower leg. Pull in, extend and flex. Lift, draw in and press along the lower leg. 
Great job. Keep going. Keep lifting. Keep extending and find full length along the leg as you press through the heel and as you point through the toes. You're doing fantastic. Just a few more of these. Good. Now all the while you're keeping your abs engaged so that top hand is reminding you to keep the core braced. Belly button back to spine. Feeling that strength along your core. Length along your leg. And rest. Let's move into a clam. Coming down onto our bottom forearm. Keep a lot of length from ear to shoulder. Bring your heels together. Open the knees. And then bring them back in. So you want to feel the outer glute, outer thigh. And then bring the knees back together using that inner thigh. Almost there. And rest. All right, let's come onto our forearms, do some plank work. So up onto the toes or down onto the knees. We're just going to saw forward and back, activating the core, coming up towards the toes, and then rocking back towards the ball of your foot. Keep your belly braced, abs in tight, and keep your back open from shoulder to shoulder. So you really want to drive your chest up through those arms as you slide forward and back. Fantastic. All the way down to the belly. Let's bring ourselves into a sphinx pose. So pushing into the forearms, lifting the chest through the shoulders. You're going to lift both feet up from the floor and then kick one heel in towards your hip at a time. So we're tightening up along those hamstrings. That imaginary pulley system wrapped around the ankle again. Flex your heel in towards your hip. Contract along those hamstrings in through the glutes. So good for the backside. Now while you're here, don't forget to draw the belly in. Brace along your core. Helping to protect that low back through those leg kicks. All right, let's do a few more. Last one here. And now let's squeeze in. You're going to bring the heels into touch and then open up. Good. So touch along the midline and then bring the toes out towards the outer edges of your mat. This is really tightening up along the glutes and inner thighs. Fantastic. Now pull both heels in. Both heels are glued together for that double leg kick. Flexing the heels in towards the glutes, really getting a lot of tightness along the hamstrings and that booty. Feel that strength. Good. Just a few more of these. You're doing splendidly, keeping those abs in tight, keeping the chest lifted, and just pulling those heels in towards your hips. Fantastic. As you lift up, let's stretch along the backside, a little child's pose, reaching the arms, and then sitting hips to heels. Nice big stretch from fingertips all the way down to your tailbone. Inhale, lift on up. Let's do the other side. So come on down. Bottom hand cradles the head. Top hand in front of the core, reminding you of your concrete foundation. Front leg up to hip line. Kick, kick to the front. Pull, pull to the back. Good long extension. And then big squeeze through the back side. Good. Really feel that tightness along the back of the leg as you pull the heel back. Feel the stretch along the back of the leg as you point the toes towards the front. Good, fantastic. Feel length all the way through the toes, down through the hip. And now we go into our side kicks, lifting and lowering. Bringing the leg up, pulling that imaginary pulley all the way down to the ground. So you want to think about how much weight is on that pulley. 100 pounds, pull heel down towards the mat. 200, pull heel down towards the mat. Now three, and squeeze. Four, and squeeze. Five, and all the way into our side kick passes. So lift, then reverse, extend, and pull. Go ahead, lift, pull in, and press. Then pull in, extend, and Draw down to the mat. Good. So reversing each passe on the way down and up. 
should feel a lot of work along that outer thigh muscle, squeezing along the inner thigh as you extend the leg and as you lower the heel. Good, fantastic exercise for your thighs. Almost there. Just a few more to take us through the end of our side leg. Keep those abs drawn in nice and tight. Get your full extension in through the leg, out through the toes. Last one here. And rest. Awesome. We're going into our clam. So you're going to lift the heels up away from the mat. Open and shut. Go ahead. Keeping the heels in together. As you open, squeeze along that rear glute. As you close, squeeze those inner thighs together. Good. Let's go for two more of these. Last one. And rest. All right. Coming back to our core work, we're just going to round out along the back, bring ourselves down towards our mat, extend the legs up nice and high, hands behind the head for our double leg stretch, just bringing those legs down to a point where you feel like your low back wants to peel up away from the mat, but you're keeping your core braced to keep that imprint down towards the floor. Lengthen along the legs. Challenge to keep those shoulders raised from the mat the whole time. Keep the rib cage drawn towards the hips. Fantastic. Almost there. And now we're going to curl the heels in and into a tabletop. We're going into our crisscross. Left elbow, right knee, right elbow, left knee. Twist along those obliques. Go ahead, now thread the shoulder towards the hips just a few more times. And we recover. Knees to chest, circle along the hips. Ah, so good. Bring the nose up towards the knee. Let's rock up and back into our rolling like a ball. So you want to hold your C-curve and then try to stick your stunt on the way up, just holding your body on that tailbone. Good, finding balance, finding stability. Rocking back just to the base of the shoulder blades and then rocking up. Challenge to keep the head from touching the floor. Now can you hold that boat pose? Good, just feel strength along the core. One second more. Oh, add some twists. You can lower the toes to make it a little bit easier or you can keep them raised to really find challenge. You can also kind of rock your knees opposite of your elbows to really light up those obliques. Ah, so good. Let's say goodbye to our workout and hello to our stretches. Legs extend all the way to the front. Reach out towards those toes. Stretch along the back. You guys did so amazing today. Thank you so much for joining me, for working out along with me. I hope you had fun. I hope you had a great workout and feel stimulated along the core. Go ahead, fold your right leg into you, give you a big hug along the thigh, and then add a little thoracic rotation, a twist to open up those obliques. Feel that stretch through the outer thigh into those abdominals and back muscles. Go ahead, let's do the other side. Fold the leg into you, give it a big hug, and then add that twist along the back. Thumb to spine. Lifting along the vertebra and twisting to glance over that back shoulder. Stretching along the outer thigh in through the glute. Now let's open up along the chest, pressing into a reverse plank, lifting the belly, breathing deeply. Feeling that stretch from shoulder to shoulder as you lift the chest, expanding the collarbone. Awesome. Reach the hands up to the sky. Take one wrist at a time. Really lengthen from the arms all the way through the back and core. And bring those arms out to each side. Open along the chest. And then give yourself a huge hug because you killed it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hope you had a great workout. And I look forward to seeing you next time.